Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf again, back with our next video. Sadly, I couldn't do it inside my ranch this time because Mage needs a target. So, without a target, I can't use my skills. As you can see, down here I can't... I'm clicking it, but it won't happen. So, I need an actual target for it to work. So, I hope this, gu this guide and showcase helps you guys out a bit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright. First off it is your basics. One, two, three. So the first attack sends out an orb, the second attack sends out another orb, then the last attack sends out a whole barrage of them. So let's talk about your basics. Alright, our first attack is called Arcane Bolt. Arcane Bolt does not have any buffs or debuffs. Next is Arcane Savo. Arcane Savo is your second part of your combo string. One, or, or you can just die on me. Whichever one feels better to you. Stop critting. One, two. So after that two, it does give a debuff of decreases target's movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. Stop hitting me, go away. Alright, time for your full combo string. And your final attack in that combo string is called Arcane Barrage. Arcane Barrage does reset one of your cooldowns to one of your skills. And it also adds a buff, and that buff is increase crit rate for 8% and increase damage for 15% for 6 seconds. And the skill A resets is called Mana Explosion. Okay, next is your defensive skill, which is called Mana Explosion, which, which knocks off any enemy that is on you. If they're in mid skill, they probably won't be knocked back or knocked out of it. After you use Magic Explosion, it is on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. Alright, time to get into actual skills. Now, your first actual skill does not have any buffs or debuffs. And this skill is called Lightning Barrage. It sends out a whole barrage of the... Uh, it seems to be like your basics, but a lot more and they're recolored. <laughs> Lightning Barrage goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Goodbye, testing dummy. Okay, your next skill is a teleporting skill. And that teleporting skill teleports you anywhere you want if you're using a mouse. But if you're using a controller, it teleports you straight to the enemy. This skill does have a perk. It does heal you for 15% of the damage you deal. Oh god. <laughs> and it goes on cooldown for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, you can use it again. But, that's not the only thing that happens. You lose at least 800 of your SP for using this. Your next skill is called Bouncing Orb, which bounces between any enemy it can get to nearby. It doesn't bounce, it doesn't keep bouncing or increase its duration for how many people it hits, it doesn't speed up. Depending on how close they are is how fast it's gonna head back. So I did change the location in my testing dummies to show you guys the AoEs. The rest of these will be AoEs. So Bouncing Orb. Bounces between your enemies and can bounce back and forth. If it's a small gap, it will continuously hit him for at least 5. And dealing less damage with each with each bounce by 10%. This skill goes on cooldown for 2.5 seconds. After 2.5 seconds, you can use it again. Alright, the next skill was pretty interesting to me. And it's called Arcane Storm. Arcane Storm is something you have to hold for it to do anything. 
As you hold it, anything around you gets attacked. As you hold it, you're continuously depleting your SP. So let's see how much does it really do. Alright, I'm at this distance. Let's see. As you see, shocks anyone within at least this region of right here. It's actually pretty good. And its effect that it leaves behind is it decreases the target's movement speed by 50%. So that's rather interesting and good. They don't really tell us how much it depletes. They don't even tell us how much SP we have. It's pretty much just a gamble. Uh, this skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. That's a fun skill. But do remember that this leaves you vulnerable and you can't attack back. The only skill you can use that is attacking is that. Alright, our next skill is called Flame Barrier. Which is pretty much just a wall of fire you can put down as you choose. Anywhere you choose. Uh, so here's the reticle for it when you're using mouse. And when you're using controller, I believe it just puts it wherever you're pointing or just directly on the enemy. So let's see what it does. So when you put it down, you deal continuous damage as they're inside the fire. And this skill does continuous fire damage over and over. And this skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. I found a better testing dummy for that. Come here, testing dummy. Where are you going? As you can see, it hit him again. But these guys are pretty weak. I can't go up into the uppers because then it'll take all day to kill. Then I would have to sit there all day killing. Alright, our last and final skill is, is pretty much just your normal AoE classic skill. With the normal reticle that mostly every game has. Look at that. I missed this reticle. But this, anywho, this skill is called Frost Explosion. Frost Explosion is a little circle AoE. So with that, it attacks all enemies and it roots the enemies for two seconds. For those of you who are not familiar with rooting skills or spells it's pretty much just keeping a target in place for several amount of time this skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds after 12 seconds you can use it again i hope this part of the video helped you guys out and now we're going to head on to our next weapon which is called the hunting horn hunting horn is Acquired when you reach level 20. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's get into our basics with the hunting horn. Okay. One, two, three. They're both just a normal music projectile. Okay, let's get into explaining the basics a bit. The first one is called Sonic Blast which has no buffs or debuffs. Let me just kill this one. The second one is called Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom decreases the target's movement speed by 30 and greatly decreases the target's attack speed for 4 seconds. And last but not least is the final part of the combo. And that is called Sonic Dinsolence. Sonic Dissolence resets the cooldown for Sonic Bubble, which is your defensive skill, and increases your damage for 30% for 6 seconds. 1, 2, 3. Oh, that worked out. 
Alright, now we're going to take a look at our defensive skill, which is called Sonic Bubble. Sonic Bubble puts a little bit of bubble right in front of you, and it roots an enemy. You can sort of think, think of it as stunning. But, this actually does continue with damage, as long as they're in it. You see, he's stunned a bit. This goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. Take a look at Blue's Barrage. Blue's Barrage launches a pretty much barrage of little projectiles and it decreases the enemy target's defense by 5%. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Now we're going to take a look at our next skill. It's called Phase Leap. Phase Leap is sort of like Arcane Warp, but this one does not heal. It actually does lightning damage. This skill goes on cooldown for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, you can use it again. Our next skill is called Rocking Ricochet, which is a lightning damage move that's sort of like bouncing orb, but it can only bounce between enemies 3 times, and it still has the same effect to it, where each hit decreases it by 10%. This skill goes on cooldown for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, you can use it again. Now let me find a group I can use this on. 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Our next skill is called Healing Him. This skill constantly heals you and your allies over over time, as long as you're holding it, and it also depletes your SP as you hold it. As you can see, it's constantly healing over and over. As soon as you run out of SP, it stops. So you can just be sitting in the background, healing your friends constantly over and over again while they're doing all the work, and you're just helping them out. So this character is quite support if you're using Hunter Horn. Those of you who like to be the maid dealing damage and supporting your team, then yes, Hunting Horn is just for you. This skill does not have a cooldown. It's just constant heal anytime you want, so do keep that in mind. Abuse it. Abuse it well. Alright, I think it's time for my favorite skill out of this class, and it's called Sonic Vortex. Sonic Vortex is pretty much like a tornado, whirlpool, or... Well, not whirlpool, but... Any type of like cyclone or something, it launches them up into the air, dealing lightning damage. This does constant damage as long as they're in it, and they can leave it. So do keep out for the stronger ones that can actually still move inside of it. So actually, fun skill. I love it. I've used it all the time. It's probably one of the best skills to mess with bosses with. You could just put that down and start walking around dodging their attacks. So this is a pretty good support. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds you can use it again. Alright, time for the final skill. The final skill is called Lullaby. Put your enemies to sleep. I am not sure if this works on bosses or world bosses at that. Aw, oh, hello there little boss. I'm just gonna try and put you to sleep, okay? Okay? We're gonna test this and see if this puts you to sleep. <gasps> it puts him to sleep. Oh dear god. Now that's the skill. I'm out. I'm belt, 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 belt. Run, run. You don't need to take this abuse. Run. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, nope. Fuck you. I'm out. Bro, bro. Okay, sweet. So we tested it on world bosses. It actually works. Ah. Jesus.
really. But if it did, that would be pretty broken. It's a constant spell, so you have to hold it down to put them to sleep. The skill not only puts your enemies to sleep, damage taken is added up from surrounding enemies, so you will be taking more damage as you're in this state. So that is quite a problem using this skill. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you guys out to decide if you want to use mage or not. But then again, it's great for bosses. Mage class is really great for bosses. PvP probably not so much considering that they really have low defense and low HP and they die very quickly. It's like ridiculous of how long you're gonna test your survival skills. But still, I do highly recommend it for those who like to support their teammates. So, Let's just close this out with a little dance. If I could find my emoticons. <laughs> yeah, get a girl. That's what I'm talking about. You guys never seen shit like this before. Mm, yeah, bring it. Uh, see you guys in the next video, Rocket. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you.